Hey y'all, today we have something really important to show you. We tested Lucas Engine Oil Stop Leak versus AT205 Reseal to find out is engine oil stop leak safe and does it even work? Well, you're not going to believe what we found out. And to get started, we're going to tell you about the chemicals that we looked into. The AT205 Reseal, it uses glycol ethers. The Lucas Engine Oil Stop Leak, it uses solvent refined naphthic. What's the difference? Well, if you look on the video of the AT205 Reseal on YouTube made by the company, they talk about the petroleum distillates and that's what's mentioned in the Lucas Engine Oil Stop Leak. However, I will say after looking into it, Lucas Engine Oil Stop Leak uses ingredients used in motor oils such as Valvoline, a high mileage motor oil. So we pretty well know those are safe or so we think. But as you can see in our videos, we put them to the test to see how this affects the engine oil's ability to protect the metal parts within your engine and does it work? Now, as for the AT205 reseal, yes, it's supposed to fix the plasticizers or replace that's been taken out or been damaged. And it's supposed to make the plastics uh, supple and flexible, but it's not really supposed to swell it or it doesn't mention anything like that. As the Lucas does say things like that, if you'll check out the MSDS, It'll corroborate everything that I've stated, not to mention these tests. Well, you can also see in the testing that the solvents used in this AT205 reseal, they're actually really great cleaners. Uh, as a matter of fact, they're great cleaners for cleaning motor oil, which was a big concern. So I tested it out, and unfortunately, yeah, the oil did not protect nearly as good with the AT205 reseal. I've heard a lot of people say, yeah, it works, it works, it works. Yeah, that's great. But what about my engine? Is it protected? That's what I'm really worried about. That's kind of the whole point of the issue, if you ask me. But when we tested it out, as you can see in these tests, we did two oil leak tests for each stop leak. Now, both as you can see in the video, check them out. Um, they both worked well in the first test. Then I made the test even harder to pass the second go around. And the Lucas passed the second test, slowed it down greatly. It didn't completely stop it on the second test like it did the first one. But the AT205 reseal, well, it didn't do so hot. But I'm guessing that has to do with the the sealers being swollen and in their case not swollen unfortunately but I've heard a lot of people say oh uh, these uh, swelling agents aren't safe yada 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 well a lot of engine oil companies use it so I don't like to take anybody's word for anything to be honest even though I've used high mileage motor oil for a long time and we'll touch those in a minute with the whole conditioner story the oil conditioners, seal conditioners. And as you can see in this test, well, hey, it didn't make a difference. Didn't hurt it at all. The wear test turned out great. So we done well in that category. But unfortunately, the conditioners, people say seal conditioners. Well, seal conditioners is just some term that really means seal swellers most 99.9% .9 of the time because all engine oils, motor oils, contain uh, seal swelling agents. This is to help, you know, actually protect the seals. But with high mileage motor oils, they actually usually contain about twice as much. I've looked up uh, most of the uh, MSDS um, information sheets for most of the high mileage oils and compared them to the regular motor oils and 
that's the number we've come up with about a roundabout number uh, there were a few oddball ones that actually did contain a little more a little less so what I want you guys to do is check these videos out decide for yourself I'm not saying use either one of them that's your choice as a matter of fact try to solve the problem look into it see why it's doing it if you have oil leaks all over the place well use a UV dye leak detector this really helps out a lot and sometimes those still don't work all that great um, and you don't want to use like a ton of that stuff so I've actually done it at night uh, it really shows up well then and you want to do it like as soon as possible after I've seen people try to do it like two weeks later after using the dye and then now their engines covered in uh, UV dye pretty much so then they can even tell where it came from now what I want you guys to do is please share with the NIA community let us know what you have tried Tell us how it worked. Tell us how it didn't work. Tell us if it caused engine damage or it did not. I mean, please let us know. Um, if nothing happened at all, let us know that as well. This is what this community is all about. Let's just share all of our information with one another, helping each other out. And guys, please keep the suggestions coming. Let us know what we should do next. Now, as always, I want to thank you for watching Nate's Interactive Auto.